N I G, uh, yeah, uh, we're all new. Baby. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another NRG News and a Gaming Daily Fix Random Gaming Report Daily NRG News. I'm your host, Melvin Cracker. So, today we're back with some huge news in the world of gaming that literally transcends multiverses. That's right, gaming is coming into reality. So, with that out of the way, let's get right into the news. So guys, in our first piece of news, it looks like Nintendo is making some big moves. They just opened up Super Nintendo Land, which they can do in Japan since they barely have a pandemic going on anymore. And they have a bunch of classic Nintendo characters there, like Mario and Luigi's Mansion. That is completely insane, guys. This is literally a whole world based on Nintendo characters. So yeah, this will be a huge success because kids love Nintendo and the birth rate is increasing for obvious reasons. So yes, this is a big win for Nintendo, and if they bring this concept to the US, I can guarantee you that it will be another massive success. We have enough man children in this country to keep that place running for a billion years. So guys, in our second piece of gaming news, it looks like Bethesda Starfield is going to launch in 2021. What? This is completely insane. So according to an industry insider, it looks like Starfield is going to be revealed at E3 2021. And we'll finally get to see it in all of its glory. Like my new movie, Man of Glory. So for those that don't know, Starfield is a new innovative experience from Bethesda that may have something to do with space. So that's about all we know right now. But people are right for the excited for a game that has released nothing but a logo and a 30 second video. And that'll probably run on a game engine that's pushing 20 years old. So you go Bethesda, you can do no wrong in the eyes of gamers. So guys, in our third piece of gaming news, it looks like Black Panther is coming to Marvel's Avengers by Square Enix. And all I have to say is that it's too fucking late. First of all, Marvel's Avengers was a huge failure. We've even covered it here on NRG Daily. So I guess they think that bringing Black Panther into the game is going to save it. But this isn't destiny, guys. This is your piece of shit game that is tainting the Marvel name. It's hilarious how Marv can make the best superhero movies, but end up shutting the gaming rights to Square Enix, who managed to fuck up their games worse than DC. So guys, in our fourth and final piece of gaming news, it looks like Cyberpunk 2077 is getting an update. And what the hell is up with these idiot game developers trying to save their game three months after the fact? That is so weird. I mean, you already lost millions of dollars. If you were going to do something, then why the hell didn't you do this in January? I'm blaming Joe Biden. Anyway, how the hell do you fix a game that looks like this? What the hell is this supposed to be? A cinematic gaming experience? No! This is like the impact impacted shit I took in my neighbor's trash can this morning. So guys, in short, it looks like, it just looks like Cyberpunk just keeps taking L's. Rest in peace, CD Projekt Red, because no matter how hard you guys try, you aren't coming back from this one. So guys, so I'll basically wrap up your NRG Daily News Gaming Fix Daily Special Gaming News Daily Report. Be sure to tune in next week for an extra special, special report. We've got an exclusive sneak peek at an all new innovative experience. You are not going to want to miss this. And we'll even have your regularly scheduled NRG content. What fun! It's truly amazing what a company can do when they lie to global investors. Alright, so since it's almost my lunchtime, I bid you all farewell. Be sure to smash that subscribe button. Thank you all for somehow staying conscious throughout the duration of this video. And remember to have a vapid gaming field day.